Hi, this is Susan Leventero. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a collective message. There are a few things I picked up, and I just want to uh, talk about it a little bit. And this may just be a short video, but uh, okay, so let's start with a spark of grace. I got these at Barnes and Nobles when I was <laughs> at the uh, bookstore. I saw collect quotes <laughs> for somebody. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So practice patience. Okay. So especially over the holidays, right? <laughs> I saw somebody hold on to, <clears throat> I saw someone hold on to a glass of wine like it was a, a life support. <laughs> I'm laughing, but, <laughs> but um, you know, sometimes uh, getting together can be, <laughs> can be uh, you know, uh, like reaching uh, for new places, right? <laughs> okay, all right, so make a list of all the possessions that bring you joy. Okay, so that's like an appreciation practice, right? <clears throat> Yeah, make a list of all the possessions that bring you joy. Okay, and a practice patience. Ooh, I like these. Let's get one more. Choose optimism. Think about how you can see the glass half full. No. Okay, so it's like... Okay, yeah, so if a glass is... Uh, halfway, then you see it as full, not empty, right? Half empty. Okay, I get what that means. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very good with some of these things. Okay, so uh, reflect on how your basic needs are met. Reflect on how your basic needs are met. Choose optimism. Okay, so I would take that over uh, to... That's funny. I was talking about wine glass, and here is the... Think about how you can... Uh, see the glass half full, not half empty. Okay, so, uh, and practice patience and uh, make a list of possessions that bring you joy. So, okay. So I feel like that's saying, if there are things that you have that um, you can hand over to someone else, then that might be a good thing to do here. Offer love to those who may seem hard to love. Oh my goodness. Okay. Offer love to those who may seem hard to love. Okay, so I'm getting like, mm, yeah. Sometimes culture uh, can uh, be a part of that. Culture and upbringing can be how a person, um, you know, uh, holds their energy. Okay. Hang pictures of loved ones in your space. Oh, that's nice. Hang pictures of loved ones in your space. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Spend time with people who help you be your best self. Ooh, I like that one too. Celebrate your good health. Okay. I'm getting something with that. Okay. So celebrate your good health. Okay. So... That's like uh, enjoying, okay, so enjoying the holidays without any kind of guilt or, or um, about eating the food, right? Getting comfortable with that. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. So it's like if you follow a certain kind of uh, particular diet or whatever, just give yourself a break and just let yourself really enjoy, right? And appreciate uh, the the abundance. Okay. Ooh, I like these. Take time to reflect on everyday miracles. Okay. Think about the wisdom you've gained over your life so far. Write down the names of all your loved ones. 
and thank a person who has helped you. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, all right, so, and I, that's what I was seeing, like over the holidays, uh, you know, a lot of times just people uh, uh, eat and run, right? Okay, but maybe offering a little helping hand would be nice, okay. Uh, some people uh, have people who come in and do that and pick up for them, but, uh, you know, sometimes uh, it's nice to even just offer, right? The gesture is is nice okay so now what I want to talk about is aging and getting comfortable with the idea of aging and where did my um okay all right so uh I picked up some things and it was like a lot of sevens and nines okay so um and it had to do this is what's going down the pipeline if you're not comfortable with aging Find ways to release resistance around it, okay? I mean, uh, you know, over time, things can shift and change, okay? Uh, you know, and it doesn't mean that uh, you can't uh, maintain your youthful appearance. You can. But the thing is, you just have to get comfortable with the changes, okay? Okay. Because this is what's happening. There's been a push and pull when it has to do with aging. And trying to put... Okay, so let's say someone... There's two people who who, who are at a... Uh, let's say over the hill age. My age. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's say they're at the over the hill age, my age. Okay. And then there's going to be many variations of what that is interpreted into depending on body, mind, and spirit of each individual now. Okay. So, um, but not being comfortable with that or getting online and having disagreements and going back and forth and back and forth. Well, this person looks like this and this and okay. So that's what I picked up. Okay. Oh, a hummingbird. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And, um, okay. So, uh, so it might be as easy as that. Look out the window. <laughs> and you're thinking about, um, you know, certain things about yourself. Just look out the window and look at the birds. <laughs> that hummingbird is still there. Okay. So that means fast momentum. Okay. So you don't realize what that does in the melting pot of creation. Okay. So that's what's happening. Okay, so get comfortable with uh, ideas of aging, you know, or getting older. You don't have to age. You can get older. You could be age less, right? But these are all things we're choosing as a collective. So, um, you know, uh, we didn't want to drag out the aging process, so that's what we chose. Okay, so, you know, kind of figure out, get comfortable with the idea of of, um, you know, uh, getting older. Okay. And, uh, and then, uh, I would do what you could to, um, okay. So some people are petitioning for, uh, equal, um, equal fairness. Okay. Equal fairness with aging and also women, Issues. I think with men, it's a different kind of, I'm feeling a different kind of energy. So, but with women, it's more of a concern. Okay, so they're showing me like a man has a baby at, at age 70 something. Okay, so, uh, but um, then a woman uh, has a different kind of dynamic, you know. Okay, but uh, can get beyond those boundaries and still do the same thing, right? Okay, so as we're reaching for this um, kind of um, 
equality or stability or balance with getting older. Um, let's see if we can move with compassion and kindness because uh, if we don't, then what happens is that anger and that rage goes into the matrix, okay? It can, let's rephrase that, it can go into the matrix, go into the melting pot of creation, and then pop up like some kind of a freak random thing, okay? And, uh, and then everyone's uh, mystified and baffled, but there's no mystery there. Okay, you could see it there in the numbers. Okay, so also some people, okay, they've already figured out how they want to go. Okay, <laughs> and back to non physical. So, you know, and how, in what ways, and this and that. I would not spend time on doing that. I would, if we're here, we need to be spending time on how uh, we're living, okay? So, um, you know, we do need to do things like, you know, uh, like our legacies and things like that and think out those things. But when it comes to, uh, you know, saying, uh, okay, so this is what happened. I, uh, someone said, I hope when I go, um, it's, it's quick. Okay. So, um, so those are the kind of things that, you know, can pop up, but be mindful of what you're saying, right? Because our word can be our wand, right? So I try to do that too, but it's hard when I, I kind of let loose the reins and let the energy come in and <laughs> things pop up. Okay. But, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, so that's the thing I wanted to say about, uh, you know, getting older. So it's like, get comfortable with it and know it's just changing and we can change our physical apparatus, um, you know the way we desire it can happen okay so um all right so uh, what am i saying uh, less judgment that's what i would say less harsh judgment when it comes to older people and aging and try to be uh if you're young try to be more compassionate also uh about that's the whole reason i think humans chose uh, aging is so that, um, it's like stepping out of the ego and then really getting to know who you are. And then, uh, you know, so, and being comfortable with being you. Okay. There's one more thing I want to say too. Do we have time? Yeah. Okay. So if you know your energy in and out, you understand your your uh, quirks and personality. If you understand that when energies come in from different places, you know what's your energy and what's not your energy. Okay. All right. So so practice your own energy and understanding your own energy. And in that way, if something if something pops up, you know it's not yours. You release it, it goes back for someone else to pick up and translate, okay? That's possible. So um, the best way to protect yourself is to keep your mind clear from neutral to positive, okay? And also prayer, okay? Affirmative prayer and uh, know your own energy, okay? Because if you're leaning in negative energy, an experience could come to bring you into your natural state, which is full alignment. Okay. So if things show up and you know they're not your energy, release it and pray on it. And, uh, and then, you know, uh, then it can transform also if you pray on it. Okay. Um, so what does that mean? If it's like, uh, something that came to you, uh, it can 
be expressed in a more positive way, right? When you pray on it. Okay. Even if it goes back to the collective to be picked up and translated, then it can come up in a more positive way that's not uh, harmful to other humans. So let's be mindful about aging and uh, getting, uh, get comfortable with it, right? Then that way it won't be extreme energy like anger and stuff like that. And then um, we can have a more positive outcome uh, with uh, things, okay? And what I would like to suggest is there is no randomness, okay? If things seem peculiar and odd and some human is acting weird and does something strange, it could be coming from uh, the collective melting pot of what humans are suppressing and not showing in their energy. Okay, with that said, uh, collective, I hope you have a happy uh, holiday season. Thank you.